Isn't that, isn't that an impeachable offense, him lying about it? Oh, I mean, if you're Trump and you do any of the things that Biden has done, then you're going to get impeached for it. But then, you know, I mean, it's it's the Ukraine thing. Like Biden was on video doing a quid pro quo. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor. And they didn't. So they said they had they were walking out to press conference. And nah, I said, I'm not going to or we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting a billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours. I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid. Biden was on video doing a quid pro quo. Trump asked about it. He then mentioned Biden on page four. He says, there's a lot of talk about Biden and his son, and a lot of people want to find out if Biden stopped the prosecution of a company tied to his son. Now, we should note, there is not direct evidence to support this allegation that the president made in the call. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. Trump asked about it and then got impeached for doing a quid pro quo. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who repeatedly resisted impeachment, changing her mind after that call with the president of Ukraine, saying the president gave us no choice. Tonight, with the nation divided and all eyes on Capitol Hill, the House of Representatives impeached the president of the United States. Article 1 is adopted. Trump asked about it and then got impeached for doing a quid pro quo.